Howdy. Hello. How's it going? No, just good. good. How are you? Sorry, kids, two seconds. No. <laughs> hey. Hello. Hello. I like your hair. Thank you. I like the whole coordination. Yeah, the sounds, glasses, the lips, yeah, all of it. Yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm Tardis Blue. I'm a Dr. fan. Tardis Blue. Nice. Tardis Blue. <laughs> Is that out of your shot? Yeah, you're good. Cool. All right. So, it was a run down. Also, uh, oh, you're going to start with blanket statements like yeah, that? Oh, wow. That puts the burden on us. <laughs> you don't have a question you want? I do have a question. I um, While well, he's taking pictures, I'll get started. <laughs> Uh, Midnight Texas, if you're not a fan of the books and you don't know the world that Charlene's created, is an incredible world set in a, a middle of nowhere town where a bunch of supernatural creatures have taken refuge from the world because of the bigotry and the, uh, the, the assaults on who they are. And so we are a di diverse group of individuals, some human, most not, that have come together and found family where we could make it. So the Rev is kind of an interesting character. I've, I've read the first book, I haven't read all three, but you're an interesting character in the book where you kind of seem, you're, you're sort of against your will kind of part of this community, but you care about them. Can you talk about that a little bit? I think it, yeah. Um, against the will, yeah, in a way, I think he's, uh, he, he goes to midnight out of out of out of necessity. I think he is uh, the, the the fact that he has his dual nature that he be, where he becomes his tiger, um, and he's a reverend. And he becomes a reverend and retreats to midnight to deal with the fact that he has this dark nature that is violent that he is in conflict with. So, you know, turning to God and retreating to midnight are how he copes with this other side. And a lot of times genre material, whether it's fantasy, supernatural, or sci-fi, it's a way to address really relevant social topics, but in a roundabout way. Absolutely. So, was that something that drew you to this project? For me, hugely so. I mean, uh, look, I'm a, I'm a geek from the time I was a kid. I, I took refuge in story, in libraries, and movie theaters, and I think as great it is to be entertaining, that's where story really serves humanity, is it lets us know we're not alone, and that, you know, just because you don't fit in with the people that are immediately in your circumstances doesn't mean you can't find the circumstances that you do. Yeah, I think, I think to have a place where everyone is accepted, particularly with everything that's going on now, everything we're seeing now, where people are, are not only not accepted but being ejected. Uh, this is a town where you can you can live there as you are as long as you don't make any trouble. The only th the only th trouble we deal with are outside forces who threaten the existence of this peaceful place, and that's really you know. You're totally welcome. Just don't step yeah. on our toes. Yeah. <laughs> just just yeah. behave. You know. Yes. Oh man, absolutely. Yeah, I mean, all except for you. Yeah, him, nobody, him, him it's, it's less found family and more like nobody. just reverend God. Yeah, but, oh, it's uh, amazing. Yeah. No, yeah. <laughs> Uh, no, we all really got along actually very, very well. Um, yeah. You know, we, we, we shoot in a place that's very isolated. Uh, there's really not, not a lot to do. And we, we spent a lot, a lot of time with each other. You know, we had very, very long days. Um, everybody was very cordial and nice to each other. You know, I mean, we really just got along and showed up there and, and got, got the job done, you know? Yeah, this, I mean, this is a really blessed situation to have so many great people. And I think it certainly starts uh, all the way back to Charlene. Charlene is an incredible and decent human being. And so is Monica Wusu Green, who is our show creator, who, you know, took the material and, and turned it into the TV series. And from the, the very top of our production, on down through the lines of every department, it seems they just gather a great group of people that really care about the work and, and have their humani humanity well intact. So, hell yeah. When you were uh, first viewing the pilot, after you worked first viewing the pilot, what were your impressions? 
directions. You know, like some of the themes and tones and things that you were hoping the audience would grab. You like the general, like, you're just not going to help me out at all, are you? Just give me your impressions. Um, <laughs> your thoughts. What about you? Uh, yeah, yeah, like, um, I was, I, my first impression was just happy that it, it, I felt like it came off really good. Uh, I'm vested in this. I really, really, both because I like the material and I like the people I'm working with, I want to see this succeed. And so every step of the way, it's like birthing a baby and you're like, oh, I hope this is going to be a good birth. And so seeing that, I was, I was really happy because I felt like we had done a great job with it. And just between you and me, it only gets better from here. I, I you know, it's just interesting. When I wa I wasn't concerned with the writing. I, I knew that was that was really really solid. My my fear with any of these things is that is how the effects are going to come off because because a show like this can can live or die by that. And and I it was it. it exceeded my expectations. I mean, they really spent a lot of money. And the thing is, like, if you don't do that, then you really sort of... It's, it's going to fail or it's going to limp. You know what I mean? But it was, it was so good. And the, the effects, have you seen episode two and three? Have you seen anything else? When you see, it just it gets better and better and better. I mean, they, they, they really they went full throttle with, with that, which is incredible. Thanks so much. Thank you guys very much. I, I love that. What is that? Hey, man, it helps me pick on you to give me a new one. It's amazing. Everything old is new.